Hello everyone, I haven't done a video dedicated to Finnish records before, so I thought it was time to do that. Uh, I may have shown some of these records before on my videos, but uh, I can't really remember, so I decided to include these. These are some of my purchases from the last couple of years, so let's get started. This is debut album from Smack, Smack on You. Uh, they were uh, shortly banned uh, from the early to late 80s. Uh, I wasn't really a big fan of them at the time. I did see them live a few times, uh, but over the decades I have become more and more a fan of them. Uh, this is the original pressing on City Boy Records. So, yeah, very good. Uh, and let's stay within the theme. This is Fish Faces, Love Songs for Hyenas, uh, originally released in 1993. Uh, this is the fo uh, follow up band from Smack vocalist Claude or Claude. Uh, this is the only album that the band released uh, because Cla Claude uh, was born with a heart condition and he died. Uh, I think he was only 30 years old when he died. Uh, this uh, single, uh, which is also included within this reissue, is the only other recording that they released during that time. Uh, again, I wasn't a fan of them uh, at the time, but uh, my brother was, and he bought this album on CD, uh, and I have borrowed it a uh, few times over the decades, and finally decided to buy it, and luckily for me, they uh, reissued this one on vinyl. Uh, but there is a second album, which is Leaving the Planet from 1998. And this one was released, I think, uh, two years after Claude had died. Uh, they had started the sessions uh, for this album when Claude died. So two of these tracks include his lead vocals, and rest of these tracks are uh, mostly by uh, Eduardo Martinez, but uh, two of these tracks are sung by Jesper Pinzer for, from DAD. Uh, there's also one of the band members sings one of the lead vocals. Uh, so yeah, I'm very glad that they decided to record these songs that they had uh, already envisioned. Okay, uh, next one is Juis Leskinen, Love single, Singles, 1974-1978. Uh, Juise uh, was very important uh, in uh, like creating a new kind of a Finnish language for uh, rock music. Because uh, prior to him, well, he wasn't the first, but there was, for example, David Lindholm had been there before him, but uh, he was one of the first ones that created new language, because prior to that, they had been very much like uh, from the book, the language that had been used on the records, but he created a new kind of way of using Finnish language. Uh, he has recorded a, a lot of classic Finnish songs, like Syksyn Savel here, or Juan Koski Here I Come, uh, but to me, he has always been very, uh, like, uh, inconsistent. Sometimes he made great albums, great songs. Other times he made crappy songs, crappy albums. Uh, and this compilation is just like that. Some of these songs are really great, and some of these songs are really just a throwaway stuff. Really mediocre, or even worse. Okay. Uh, next, uh, this one I actually do believe that I have shown before, but anyway, this is Hanoi Rocks Rebels on the Run, a compilation album, uh, but this is not a greatest hits type album, this is more a rarities compilation. Uh, I had everything uh, except for one. There's uh, two of these songs here are marked as single versions, so even though I have this, those singles, uh, this one of these songs here is not the version on the single, so I don't know what that single version means. Because it's different than what is on the single, and it's different than what is on the album. Uh, and rightfully so, because this version here is actually... It's ho horrible, it's awful. But yeah, uh, I had uh, everything except for that one uh, version. But it seems that I didn't need needed this because I bought this. One of my all-time favorite bands, Hanoi Rocks. And let's stay within the theme. Michael Monroe, Peace of Mind, his solo album from 1996. Uh, also, finally got 
a vinyl issue. This one includes the, uh, this is a double album, includes the original album and the album as demo versions on the second album. The album itself is very short, it's uh, just under 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, uh, not my favorite solo album from Michael Monroe, but one of his best anyway. But this one is is his best, this Andy McCoy, Building on Tradition, his solo album from 1995. Like I've mentioned before, uh, after Cherry Bombs, uh, Andy has never ma managed to make like good albums. There's been one great song and the rest, rest of it has been like uh, really not that great. But this is a good album. This is like good album all the way through. It's, it's, I wouldn't say that it's a great album, but it's a good album anyway. And this uh, vinyl reissue includes two songs not included on the original album. And was it late last year or early this year he released finally a new uh, EP. This is four song EP and all of these songs are really good. So I'm glad that he finally, finally managed to make a new uh, uh, EP. Uh, was it, it was about uh, two weeks ago he finally released a full-length album. I haven't bought that one yet, but I will buy that one. Uh, but yeah, this is the first... Uh, no, it isn't. There was the prior album he did with... Uh, Pete Malmi, yeah. But yeah, th this is actually the only the second after after this, so 1995, 2018. So he hasn't been actually very busy. Although they were the uh, reunion Hanorox albums also. And uh, basically at the same time as that EP, there was also this EP, Pelle Miljona Oy, Anna Soihtusi Palaa. Uh, Pelle Miljona Oy was a legendary Finnish punk band from 1980. And it was this lineup that released the most commercially successful Finnish punk album of all time, Motoriti on Kuuma, which I think is a fantastic album, really, really good album. But this one, recorded 38 years later, is not great. Uh, this is just completely devoid of that uh, magic that was on that original album. There's just no nothing of it is left here. Uh, after the release of uh, Motority on Kuma, Andy McCoy and Sami Jaffa uh, left to form uh, Hanoi Rocks and the rest of the band uh, regrouped with different members and they also recorded a second album uh, which was uh, no nowhere near as good as the first album. And uh, neither is this one, yeah. Uh, this is uh, five songs, each member has written one song for this and yeah, it's just it's just not great. Uh, best of these songs is written by Sam Jaffa. Then uh, a country album, Luxury Liner. Uh, I've got five dollars and it's Saturday night. Uh, this is 14 songs. Uh, eight of these songs are all country covers like um, uh, I'm Gonna Live Some Before I Die by Farron Young and Help Me Make It Through the Night by Chris Christopherson and six of these songs are originals. Uh, I know that this band has been active during the last few years but I've never seen uh, their, them live and I have actually never even seen uh, a mention that they would have been their gig somewhere. So they, they have completely passed me by with the exception of this album. Uh, yeah, uh, like the band named Luxury Line te tells you what kind of country music this is. Uh, very good at what they did, but yeah. That was it. Um, then, uh, during the last couple of years there's been a, a lot of uh, reissues by Big Bum, and this is uh, Jim Pembroke's Second solo album, Pig Worm, and this is my favorite solo album from Jim Pembroke. Uh, and as you can tell here, is also Wigwam, or rather it's this way around, because uh, all, of, all the members of Wigwam are playing on this album. And this is very good, uh, like uh, uh, melodic uh, rock or pop rock. Uh, th these are really good, good songs, unlike his first solo album, which is just too bloody weird for me. 
Okay, uh, Big Bang album, Lucky Golden Stripes and Star Pose from 1976. Uh, again, I think this uh, album itself is great, that this reissue includes a bonus album, which are British mixes and uh, rehearsal takes. Uh, British mixes because they recorded this album in uh, England. Uh, I think the album itself is great, but these uh, bonus tracks here, in my opinion, none of it is, uh, is really es essential. Uh, it, it's nice to have some bonus material here, but yeah, I, I don't think that any of this bonus material here is essential. But this next one, Vipam Dark Album, their final album from 1977, uh, this bonus material here is much more interesting. Uh, it says here that uh, it's, the bonus material is 1985 mid pressing. But if it were mispressing, it would have included the same songs uh, with some differences within them, like a different mix or something. Uh, but since it came with a different title, Damon Dunstan's Request, and the original Dark album includes uh, eight songs, and this uh, Damon Dunstan's Request only includes six songs, it hardly can be simply mispressing. In my opinion, this is the only uh, Finnish bootleg ever, at least to my knowledge, that is. Uh, the, uh, of the six songs here on Damon Dunstan's request, four of these songs are same as on the Dark Album, that, but there are slightly different mixes, uh, slightly different edits, and two of these songs are not included on Dark Album. But yeah, uh, really, really great album, this one. And then there Album from 2002, Titan's Wheel. Uh, I actually, this is one album that I never owned before, which is surprising, surprising because uh, uh, during this period uh, I saw them live several times, but somehow I just never got around buying it. And well, it's not a great album. A couple of these tracks are, well, they are simply bad and most of these tracks are just okay, a couple of tracks being really good. But yeah, uh, really not a high, po high point in uh, week one's career. But uh, on a more positive note, I just heard that the, the live album from this same period, uh, this, uh, this album, this Titan's Wheel, was released in 2002, and their live album from a year earlier, 2001, Big One Place Week One, is uh, getting a vinyl reissue uh, later this year, so I've already ordered, pre-ordered that one. Okay, Ultra Bra, Vesireittejä. This is their fourth and final album from 2001. They were short-lived band also, uh, they were active from 1996 to 2001. And I was uh, slow getting into them. I did uh, see them live two times, uh, but uh, I really started listening to their music only after they had already announced that they would be breaking up. Uh, so once I got into them, uh, I bought uh, three of their four albums, and it took me a lot of years before I finally bought the fourth album. The Actually, their first album was the one that I didn't buy at first. And now, two years ago, they returned uh, to play a few gigs and their albums were issued on vinyl, and again, I bought three of these albums, uh, so it remains to be seen if, I, if it takes me like 15 years to buy the fourth album, which this time isn't the first album, but their second album. Uh, this next one is not a full-length album, this is just a three-track, 12-inch uh, single. This is Kauko Röhkä ja Narttu, Paska Kaupunki, which translates as Shit Town. Uh, Kaukoröhkä was originally from Oulu, which is my vinyl bar's hometown. So everybody assumes that this song is about Oulu, uh, but Kauko has actually never said that this is about Oulu. Uh, but yeah, uh, one of his most famous songs and one of his best songs. So yeah, even though I don't collect, uh, ha haven't started collecting his singles, I had to buy this one. So Jarko, what do you think about this song? And then, finally, uh, J. Karjalainen. I was a big fan of them, uh, or his, 
during the 80s when he had his first band Musta Klasit. But uh, after that band broke up, uh, I have uh, been listening to his uh, music like very seldom. I, I only have a couple of albums, although he has been active all the time and he has recorded uh, loads of albums. During his uh, uh, most la latest phase, uh, he has re uh, released albums under his own name without any band name included. Uh, this is his third uh, most latest album, J. Karjalainen, Sä kuljetat mua. And uh, uh, during the summer, uh, as the summer started to turn into what she end, I realized that I hadn't really done much of anything at all. Uh, I had been just working all the time, so I wanted to do something that I, that I so that I would have like some memory for the summer other than just working. And one of these songs, I don't know if you can read it, but it says here, Terve Sirkka mies. Uh, there was an article about this song on a newspaper uh, because he wrote the song uh, about a kasvio. I don't know what, what that is in English, but it's a book when you collected uh, uh, flowers and plants and you dried them up between the pages of a book. So he had bought uh, an old one like that and uh, there was a, a name of the original owner and a time. It was done in 1925. So he got to wonder about that person, that, uh, who that person was and what she might have been thinking while she was picking up these uh, flowers. So, she, so he wrote a rock song about her and uh, it's a very simple song. It, it, it's just like a wondering that did you pass by that uh, stone quarry because uh, at her home place there was a stone quarry uh, from where the stones uh, were brought to St. Petersburg when St. Petersburg was being built. So the, those stones were used to build some st uh, streets and uh, some buildings. So uh, there was an article about her and her children happened to read that article and there was a follow-up article about her. This is her in 1931. And this got me thinking that uh, I'm going to visit that place simply because of this song and simply because I haven't been there before. So I would have got something done during this summer. So I did went there. And well, it was great. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a stone quarry. So uh, all that there was was some uh, blocks of stone. You could see that uh, they had been working there. And then one day somebody had just told him that stop everything and that's it, go home and the forest had grown up there, so all you could see was just the places that, okay, you could see that they have cut stones from here and there's some blocks of stone, and that's it. But at least I got something done, and it was a place where, in Finland where I hadn't visited before. Okay, uh, that's it for this time. Hopefully I'm going to make uh, another record update soon, but remains to be seen. Thanks for watching, leave a comment, bye.